Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back, squad. I am here today to do another general collective reading. We're not sign specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may say you and I'm talking to them. I may say them and I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid, so I could be talking about the past, the present, or the future. Take only the parts that resonate and leave the rest behind. If you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information is below in the description box. You can go directly to my website, enlightenedauntie.com, to book a session with me. I'm currently running a special on live sessions. Um, they're normally $155. I marked them down to the original price, um, my old original price of um, 11, uh, 111 11 um, for a limited time spots are limited if you're interested in working with me live um, get in where you fit in I'll probably run the special maybe through the end of August so you got between now and the end of August to book a live session with me at the discounted rate all right so let's jump in this is my second read for the day let's see what spirit wants to talk about now <laughs> so somebody here is I want to say this is the same feminine energy that came with my last reading <laughs> I have somebody here who's experiencing some misfortune and it's because I feel like somebody here may have been prioritizing something that they didn't have no business prioritizing. It feels like <clears throat> someone here who came up with a bright idea Put a lot of focus into it and now they're dealing with circumstances that are probably making them incredibly uncomfortable um they may also be going through this quietly like if they're going through some shit they're not telling anybody about it this woman is angry she's angry um and currently incredibly emotional this this person here is this person is here experiencing experiencing some something that looks similar to depression if their finances are being affected because that's kind of what this looks like here said this woman got a bright idea and I heard she's been shut down so whatever this whatever this person was doing I see this a couple of different ways so what I see here one there's a situation That could have come about due to someone's path of uh, passing. Because I do kind of see like. I see a lot of concentration or focus. Bright idea. This bright idea happened because of an ending. And I see this bright idea in two places. So somebody came up with a bright idea. I want to say this person, whoever this bright, whatever this bright idea was, it was to piggyback on an actual creator. So, okay. So, and I'm not, we haven't even gotten into the intellectual, the theft of intellectual property, but it, this is kind of giving me similar energy because I, I it, what it looks like is it looks like collective you are the one 
that has the bright idea like you may have a money making idea right or, or you do something for work or whatever that is it's it's a it's a bona fide money maker right i feel like you have somebody here that was trying to create blockages or make you miss opportunities they spent a lot of energy trying to make sure that these opportunities either didn't come to you or that you wouldn't actually see any success out of them um somebody here may be either investigating that or they're doing some research or looking into it somebody may know the truth somebody may wit like somebody could also be this could be somebody separate on the outside looking at this other individual i did say somebody here was dealing with some misfortune and dealing with it quietly um someone on the outside may be witnessing this person's decline in terms of like the way they're behaving they may be noticing that they may also have evidence of maybe the theft or the loss of some type of finances or an opportunity oh oh okay so this collective i'm gonna say this queen of pentacles is you at the heart of this reading the you are the queen of pentacles i feel like this person was trying to create losses for you obstructing opportunities trying to put an end if you're an entrepreneur this person may have been trying to do things to put an end to your work or to end to like end your business or whatever this is especially if whatever you've got like if you like i said you got the bright you got the bright ideas somebody here was trying to piggyback off of whatever it is that you do they were trying to create losses and endings i want to say they they there may have been a contractual opportunity here for you because what i'm seeing here here's an opportunity here's a loss or the block of an opportunity that could have led to some type of of generational wealth this even could be like an inheritance right um this could absolutely be an inheritance something that would have set you up straight for a very very long time right um they were trying to create endings for you And if whatever, it kind of feels like, because I see you work, like whatever it is that you do, whatever it is collective that you do, whatever you do for work, you're, I said, just like I've said in other readings, you're an expert at it. You're an expert at it. You're good at what you do. People that see you doing what you do know that you're good at what you do. And everything connected to this witchy woman everything connected to her like literally not not that you're the only upright person you are upright you could even be embodying this um uh, king of swords this king of swords could actually be you too um because the way that i'm looking at this it feels like this witchy woman was trying to affect your stability your finances like literally like this all could look like this even can look like somebody who may have i said somebody may have got came up with a bright idea to pay somebody to unalive you i do see that too i do see that this person here they were trying to play okay i what i'm seeing i'm literally seeing like this weird ass matrix like diagram it's like connecting dots and lines with each other so crazy 
Okay. So the way that I'm looking at this, collective, you're in the center. You are the queen of pentacles. Okay. Um, you're very grounded. You know your shit. You take care of yourself. You take care of your family. Um, you're very responsible, right? The way that this is all radiating, it appears that this woman at the top had been attempting to create losses and misfortune, unaliving, all of that stuff, right? But right now, what she's experiencing is she is now experiencing the losses that she wanted for you and the misfortune that she was that she had hoped for you and i do see an ending to some kind of contract like if there's and i've said it in other readings too you know like soulmates um soulmates don't always have to be of a romantic nature i definitely see where this this contract here if you if this person was a soulmate this contract has come to an end um okay let's clarify there's a lot here I'm also seeing here too somebody could be really upset because somebody knows the truth about about this loss of of money so if they were if this woman was trying to like block you from block you from resources or opportunities I think what she's upset about is that she she knows that you know and she's worried Collective, you walked away from this person. Oh, yes. They're, she's worried. She's worried that somebody's going to discover the loss of this windfall, inheritance, or opportunity. Okay, so whatever the attacks were, I think these attacks were meant to kind of play on your emotions. But the problem is you've already healed the thing that would have triggered it. So like say if I see a lot here, if at one point when I say this person was really trying to wreck your life, like wreck your life, wreck your relationships, um, what they didn't anticipate was that you had like a high level of faith. They didn't expect that you'd have a high level of faith. You turned to yourself. You worked on yourself. You you focused on self-love. I think I said in a couple of readings ago, like this, whoever we're talking about, this person does not have self-love. They don't love themselves. So obviously if they don't love themselves, they don't love you. They never they they only like kept you around just for, you know, what you could do for them. And you know what's crazy? This person I said you you pour in you healed yourself. Like, you weren't heartbroken by having to walk away from the situation like you did. You, you took a leap of faith and you walked away from it. But when you walked away from it, it didn't hurt as much as you might have expected it to originally. And the reason why is because you clearly saw the difference. You see the difference when you love yourself. When you love yourself, you can clearly see when other people don't love you you can see that based on again when you love yourself you're not going to accept subpar 
love from other people right and i tell people all the time like if you're whoever you're with if they're not loving on you better than you love yourself that is not your person and what this person was kind of banking on they may have been banking on you being unstable if in, in the past you had you know dealt with some like depression issues or or dealt with you know stability issues where you know job hopping and all that other shit like it happens you know what i'm saying this person was kind of banking that if they created these diversions or created these roadblocks for you that it would send you back down into the spiral of wherever you have been that low place but what they didn't anticipate is the fact that you would heal they didn't expect you to heal they didn't expect you to start loving on yourself that's what it was so the key difference that's between you and this person is you love yourself you love yourself and you also can recognize now the the level of disdain that this person may have had for you because all i'm seeing here is this person was doing a whole lot to keep up a lie and keep you from being keep your work listen if you have now now i want to say if you have a public platform if you're online or if you have an online business this kind of looks like to me somebody here like you could be just working minding your business or whatever I feel like this person may have been trying to like create blockages and diversions for people to you know to prevent your business from thriving whatever that is I'm also seeing too if somebody here was trying to if somebody here was trying to create an energy around like say if you're in a relationship i see a bunch of different things but I'm, I'm gonna start down here at this lover's card if you're in a relationship if you're in a committed relationship and even if it's not like a romantic relationship like say it's a work partnership or something like that okay i feel like by you making certain choices to distance yourself from this person you made certain choices right whether that's you committing to your family you know the people in your house not the folks outside of your house but you know staying committed to your work your 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 path whatever that whatever that dedication is whatever it is that you're pouring into it feels like you're being very protective of you know what you got going on at home you're very protective of the work that you do you're very protective of your process and your ideas I do feel like somebody here because I said you know you you come up with really bright ideas and the ideas that you come up with they are and they're like they're not traditional they're very unconventional um and again this person like your ideas are unconventional you come up with some brilliant ideas this person literally was trying to like shut you down and from this angle here it literally looks like trying to shut down or shut down shut you down or have people view you view your work as being subpar and what's interesting is is that you Yeah, they, they this person may have tried to paint a hell of a narrative about you. A hell of a narrative. But in the center of it all, everything radiates from you and it starts with the self-love and other people. I did say this person, this is a second this is a secondary a third person, secondary, third person. This is somebody else. They're kind of witnessing this. They're kind of witnessing the fact that what had been told to them or what has been put out about you collective that's not actually the truth but there is somebody here who absolutely does know about the this the blockage of this opportunity or like if there was some type of windfall some type of inheritance or something that was due to come to you 
there's somebody else here that knows about it. I'm also kind of getting the energy too that whatever they this person's been doing it's almost like energetically they're being prevented from continuing so like they can't keep doing it yeah I'm just getting this big energy like Somebody here has been spreading misinformation. And I also see, too, I, I think I said it a few readings back where I'm like, you know, if you've been, you know, hermiting and keeping to yourself, like this is this Leo season now, it's officially time for you to start popping back out, okay? Um, I get the impression this person did not want your work to be seen. They didn't want your work to be seen. They didn't want you to be seen. I mean, if you get seen, it takes a shine off of them. It takes attention away from them. Are you a healer? Are you a healer or a priestess? Oh, that's what she's worried about. There has been theft here. I think somebody's concerned that this is going to be revealed. Mm-hmm. Somebody wanted you to be in despair. They wanted you to feel low. They wanted you to feel rejected. They wanted you. They literally wanted you to be alone. This person may have also been someone. I think if they had other people like wrangling around them. This person may have been someone that had been respected in their community amongst other people or whatever um this is somebody who does wear a mask so i think i've talked about it before where i'm like we've got shapeshifter energy this person may not be able to shapeshift anymore with the death card here somebody here may have hit a, a brick wall or some roadblocks so I said, like, whatever they've been doing, they can't do it anymore. <laughs> they can't do it anymore. And so now they're faced, they are faced with the exact kind. See, this person was trying to affect your finances. Like, because, of course, if somebody, if they're trying to block your work or prevent you from working or block your opportunities, yeah, you're going to be broke and not have any money. But guess what? Because of everything they were doing, like, karma is literally spinning the block karma is literally spinning the block so the poverty that they may have wanted for you is what they're getting ready to get hit with if they're not already experiencing it mm -hmm. i said somebody here was trying to block your work they worked hard they worked hard to have it done too but you're protected you're protected your work is protected your union is protected And I said, this inheritance or whatever this opportunity that was meant for you, it was meant to provide you with a new life. Sudden wealth. Expectation. Official person. So you may have somebody that's coming towards you to inform you. I don't know when this is going to happen. Family room. 
whatever this is whatever this inheritance is this gift this unexpected sudden income that you may be getting um you may have an expectation of receiving it change at the bottom of the deck for move a possible move um you also maybe want like in, for those of you who are in that in the energy of this of, of with this inheritance or windfall around you um you may be i, I kind of feel like with this new life that it will afford you it's also going to push you to possibly relocate I heard going on a solo journey now solo journey because I do see a contract out here solo journey doesn't mean like you just you know you bail on your family and you go on this journey but like you and your little family go off on on your on your journey and and nobody ever hears from you again <laughs> I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing where are we at 2555 <clears throat> all right All right, so now I have the energy here of somebody. <sighs> somebody here may be worrying about a connection. Wor oh, yeah, I see. They're worrying about a connection um, that they won't have any victory and success. Okay, there's... interesting so what this looks like is there could be a connection because now that i'm adding the other cards here there looks like a connection here that this kind of feels like not speaking to your family not speaking to your family and choosing a relationship like a loving like you know a partnership marriage boyfriend girl, whatever it's like choosing your partner over your family. I do get the energy here. Somebody here could have been potentially like telling lies about your connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody telling lies. Somebody telling lies about the connection, and that's the reason why the door to romance is closed to this person there was a connection here but there either this person doesn't tell the truth they either lie about the connection they lie about themselves or they're not honest they don't they, they're not telling somebody how they feel they're not being communicative this person that's not being communicative may also have a family this person wears a mask they chose money over they chose this mask and money in sex over the foundation of a happy family or or connection this kind of goes back to like the last reading it's almost like somebody making a choice they chose chose wrong this person chose something that they thought was going to be a good choice but whatever they chose it it wasn't a good choice um spirit may have been guiding this person but they listened to someone else and now this door to romance shut without warning it doesn't matter anyway because this person is still wearing a mask they're never going to have this victory they're never going to have the victory as long as they are still not speaking the truth and still wearing the mask yeah they're still torn indecision they're still torn i mean this is similar to the last stream they're still torn they don't know what they want to do or how they want to proceed okay
somebody is ungrounded they're not listening to their intuition there is deceit this person is still lying to themselves or others oh oh but look at this their lies somebody's lies are being illuminated oh damn somebody is worried about a lie being illuminated and now what i'm seeing okay what i'm seeing around the lie i see the fear i see someone's intuition and i see total illumination i've got sun on one side and illuminate on the other so there is a lie about the collective look and you're over here just grounded they i said they wanted to say that you were ungrounded and wanted to say that you know <clears throat> you had a whole lot going on and that's not really the case because what is being illuminated what is being illuminated is the fact that you have been away from all of the drama and, and in your absence you have grown in your absence you have grown and the one thing and here's the other thing too in your absence not only have you grown you know more than what you speak you pulled back and now you can literally see everything that has been trying to be everything that was trying to be hidden from you i also get the impression here that there's someone on the board that is definitely afraid that you will speak they may have even done things to prevent you from speaking I said somebody here was trying to lies. Somebody here was trying to mask your work. Someone here was trying to mask your work. They wanted to keep you ungrounded, but you're not. People are seeing that. Not only are they seeing that you're not ground that you're grounded, they see your growth. No matter how much this person or how whoever this is I'm talking about, somebody has been trying to keep that hidden, to keep you hidden, to keep your voice suppressed. They were trying to block your intuition. But you healed. And this person is afraid to let you go. And people are starting to see, okay, here's the part that's being illuminated. Especially if people have been paying attention to you over the course of like, say, the last year. They can see how much you've grown and how much you've evolved. listen somebody here was trying to break up your relationships and make them complicated and have you all up in your head to obstruct or block your potential and your wealth you've released any of the toxic relationships that you've had and you're no longer asleep you're no longer asleep you're totally you see it all and i think it's the distance the distance from being around this person or these people or whatever this situation is by you isolating going into hermit mode it allowed you really an opportunity to not only focus on yourself but it allowed you an opportunity to really see what's what you see how people move you understand what you know what they're doing and why i think that comes over time too all right i'm gonna leave it there guys if any parts of this reading resonated for you or gave you clarity over your own situation give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate into the algorithm if you'd like to book a personal reading more aligned with your own story all my information is below in the description box and my books are always open i invite you to come join me for a session all right i hope you guys have a fantastic week um whenever you happen to see this it's monday today so i hope you are doing well and i hope you have a fabulous week all right take care until next time